Nation. It's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Hey, I did not expect to make one news so quickly, man, but the drama has piled up to, to an extent at which I can no longer ignore it. I don't know what everybody, I don't know why y'all been getting so active recently, but I guess that means I still have a job. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only authorized news reporter, Agent Beamstar in the building, letting you know that I just made an appearance on my other channel. Yeah, I was breaking down all the money I spent from all the drama that everybody gets into on my vehicles. Broke it down in fine detail, ladies and gentlemen, so make sure to go ahead, check that video out. Link is in the description right here. Um, well, no, it's obviously underneath the video. Goes without saying, descriptions can't be in the middle of the video player. That wouldn't make any sense. We also did drop an AMP Top Chef video where a young agent was there cooking it up like this one time. Uh, probably one of the funniest videos I've ever had an opportunity to work on. Link is in the description. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. For our first story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Oh man, right as I got to uploading the last 2K drama alert, some more juicy drama went down. This time I wanted to see how it played out, ladies and gentlemen. So out here I was at my crib, you know, just screenshotting away, making sure I got all the details, cause I knew it was gonna be deleted. And ladies and gentlemen, I was correct, the tweets were deleted, but Agent Beamstar has captured the details. So let's get into it. Joe Knows was furious. He said this on Twitter. Everyone's free to do what they want. I don't own any type of video, but at this point, man, it's hella weird. I don't do internet drama, so I ain't making a big deal about it. But make your own content, please, badge plug. You got over 500K subs, you don't need to copy content. Good luck. And he linked a screenshot here of badge plug thumbnail and title from 21 minutes ago, and Joe Knows thumbnail and title from nine months ago. Of course, Agent Beamstars heard about this drama offer it, dived in and replied real quick with the oh so infamous Agent Beamstar is closely monitoring the situation. And yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, I was. Badge Pug responded saying, man, I really don't understand you. You're so successful and worried about me. Any other community, people do exact copies of videos and no one cares. Also, you could have easily DM me and on top of everything, it doesn't affect you at all. As I said, I ain't going back and forth. I don't do drama. Good luck in the future. Prayer hands emoji. Bro, but the crazy thing is, we talk in the DMs, yet you have to go public about something for what? Literally 90% of your videos are NBA player videos, which you even said yourself you didn't create. Crazy, bro, but it's all good. Attack me and feel better about yourself. Ooh, is it getting juicy, ladies and gentlemen? The answer is yes, it is getting juicy. Hey, Batch Bug, there's a very big difference between having a similar video or seeing something from another game and picking that up and then linking people in the description, asking for permission and just blatantly taking entire titles and thumbnails. That's like on the very extreme. It's not like a, it's yes or no, it's there's a scale. And right now you're on one very far end. Joe Knows is just letting you know that you're doing that. That's all. Joe Knows quote tweeted saying, exit dimensions in the next five seconds. I would not risk it. <laughs> it's cool, bro. You've always disliked me even before any of this. Just don't understand how you're so successful and worried about me, a grown man. Power decided, hey, it's not a 2K drama alert unless I get involved. And he replied saying this. The most hilarious part is how he's playing victim and acting like he doesn't know this is wrong. This isn't just he made a similar video. This is he's copying and pasting the title and telling the designer to make the exact same thumbnail. He knows what he's doing. Oh my God, there's another example of that. Oh Lee, oh my God. Wow, verbatim, that's unbelievable. AMP Duke was in the mentions, responded to the original tweet from Joe No saying, LMAO changed 99 to legend and 2K19 to 2K20 with a whole gang of crying laughing emojis with this video. Hey yo, what the? <laughs> that's a classic. It's a classic, ladies and gentlemen. Grinding responded to both Joe Knows and Badge Plug saying, I've been waiting for the day I could tag Beamstar on something that has nothing to do with me. Agent, get on it, buddy. Here was a deleted tweet that um, Salty the Goat was able to capture. Don't understand why everybody can't eat. You never see me talking about another man on this app. And that's where the conversation died down from all the different content creators. And I hope at this point, 
badge plug, you understand why they came at you. It's not that they hate you or they don't like you as a person. It's the fact that it's not like something benign. Like you just, you know, you, you, you saw a title you liked and you were like, oh, maybe I could do my own version of that. You didn't, you, you know, you took it verbatim. And you're not the only person who's done that. There's plenty of content creators who do things like that. They just don't get called out by Joe Knows on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, at no point did Joe Knows say, like, this is my idea, nobody can do it. He was just arguing, why are you copying everything I'm doing? That's that's all he's saying, like, why why did you do everything the exact way I did it? Like, could, it, could you have not done it your own way, is what he's asking you. Uh, and I think that's a very valid question at the end of the day. For our... Oh my god, why does De'Aaron Fox keep taking shots at NBA 2K? He ain't have enough of it, ladies and gentlemen. This happened on Twitter the other day. Hoop Central put out this post saying NBA 2K21 will be a major visual improvement than any game before. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think anyone bothered to read the article. We just read the title and immediately made conclusions. <laughs> and one of the people who made those conclusions is Darian Fox, who quote tweeted that tweet from Hoop Central saying, crying laughing emojis, this is what they think everyone wants improved, skull emoji. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, Darian Fox is a full-fledged 2K player. I know it, I know it in my heart, cause that's what I thought the moment I saw this. But, I'm, I haven't even clicked yet, but if I click this article, hopefully I'm not gonna get hacked or something. Boom, it is a real article. Exactly, it's exactly what I predicted. They don't actually have any kind of insider information to reach this conclusion. They just wanted to write an article and came to the real realization that next gen is gonna have better hardware, so 2K is gonna have better graphics. This is obvious. Most games are gonna have better graphics with better hardware. Except Valorant. <laughs> that joke hit with like 15% of the people watching. <laughs> so this is not like 2K came out and said they're gonna focus on graphics. It was just an article that someone decided to write. And it's probably true. Graphics probably will get better. But the reason I know Darian Fox is a full-fledged 2K player is because I had the, I wanted to hate immediately too. And I know how this game is played pre-launch. I knew they didn't really have any facts that we didn't have, but immediately I was like, how is that the focus? <laughs> I even replied, I didn't know I did that. Uh, maybe if they make the graphics get better. Am I special? What the hell is wrong with me? I can't write today? Maybe if the graphics get better. Oh, I can't read. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe if the graphics get better, I won't be able to notice the next time I lag out. Flex emoji. <laughs> I'm a funny guy, I didn't even know I said that. So bridging off of that, ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie2K put together this NBA 2K tournament on ESPN. It was, in, obviously, you guys probably know, like a whole bunch of NBA players like Kevin Durant, et cetera, et cetera, were participating in this tournament, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the result wasn't as gassed as I was, I was expecting it to be. Cause then like Fox was tweeting about it saying a 16 team NBA 2K tourney with top NBA players is happening. And I'm like, oh snap, oh snap, I have to tune into this. It was even top trending on Twitter. And Ronnie 2K was top trending. I think this is the same time he was calling DeMarcus Cousins a dickhead. That's why Ronnie was trending. But the NBA 2K tourney was trending as well. And there was a few interesting moments because while the games were going on, the players were talking. One of them landed on Twitter. Here is uh, Devin Booker, ladies and gentlemen. Because NBA 2K has messed my player up, MPG asked Devin Booker if he wanted to pick the Suns in the NBA 2K tourney. You should have just picked the Suns. I'll pick the, I'll pick the Nuggets. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. That was it? That was the whole clip? Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be more than that. So I guess it's just Devin Booker clarifying here it's because NBA 2K has his player messed up, which is true. For some reason, the greatest shooters in the game, like Klay Thompson, Stephen Curry, ah, Stephen Curry's release is actually pretty good. They gave him the slowest and most ugliest releases. It's not nothing like how they shoot in real life. It's a shame. I guess it's in the name of balance, but it also ruins the players too. I know that because I've been playing all-star team up. What a tragedy. Uh, yeah, so the tournament went on, and I'm not gonna lie to you, after the first game, I stopped watching. I found out that it was pre-recorded and I was like, so it's not live esports? <laughs> What's going on, guys? I don't know, man. It just, it wasn't as gas. It wasn't like, like, they weren't even, like, the players wasn't even into it like that. It was just kicking back on some, yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, bring some energy, man. Um, but at the same time, NBA 2K League was doing the, some 3v3 park tournament and that was actually entertaining. So I decided to watch that instead. Ladies and drama. Whoa. The hell is going on with me today? Ladies and gentlemen, for the next story.
story of the day. There's some drama between once teammates, now foes. Power and Chalk. Power, in a now deleted tweet, decided to post a video of Chalk losing in the NBA 2K League 3v3 Park Tournament. It was a funny video where Chalk rage quit and Power captioned it very funnily and basically posted it on Twitter because that's what Power does. And Chalk was furious about the situation. He replied on Twitter, say, oh yeah, by the way, Power's tweet is deleted. So my bad on that. Uh, you actually can't screenshot videos. <laughs> so I couldn't do that. But hey, Chalk replied to the tweet saying, of course Power is still tweeting about me. Still keeping tabs on everything I do. Still praying on my downfall as always. Real genuine guy. He followed up saying, mind you bro, I never bashed DF. Never made a why I left video for clout. Never disrespected dude. Bought a website for DF. Was pushing for us to get sponsors. Literally never did him dirty in any way. Yet I'm blocked and he's watching my every move genuinely don't get it. I was really, really hoping this turned into a full-fledged drama. It did not, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, this is where it ended. For the next story of the day, there was a patch. Patch 11, ladies and gentlemen. NBA 2K dropped patch 11, and everybody felt bamboozled by it. Absolute radio silence from the developers, and out of nowhere, patch 11 drops. What's, what's in the patch, agent? We didn't know! For a full day the patch was out, they ain't bothered to disclose what was in it! And I hate when that happens, because it's like, what if you just install the virus onto my PS4? I would like to at least know about it beforehand. Uh, and it got to the point, because there was no patch notes released, that people were just memeing the, the fact that there was nothing. We didn't know about it though, it was just a meme. There was a, an article here from Games Guide, NBA 2K20 update patch 11, and in the notes is just one note, improve the stability of the title in addition to a number of general improvements to the user experience. Even if you are disappointed for now, unfortunately there are no further details. <laughs> so they just like wrote the most generic thing. And there was actually a couple people, uh, oh wait, here it is. Updatecrazy.com dropped their own version of the patch notes, included some added fixed crashing issues, addressed stuttering lag issues, along with a few other things like added a few glitches. Gotta love that. It's not an NBA 2K patch unless you add some glitches into the game. So amongst some of the things that people reported seeing change because we didn't get patch notes that full day, people were saying that there was a, like a buff to the behind the back. Obviously it was one of the animations that was nerfed. Some people are calling it placebo, but others are saying they felt like that move was more effective post patch. Immediately though, after the patch dropped, there were people complaining about their jump shot not hitting. Obviously, this is a problem 2K's had for a while where Mike Wang is saying we aren't addressing jump, we're not patching jump shots, but in the changes that they make, inevitably, some jump shots are altered. The windows look different or the release feels different. Like, just go back to base eight or set shot 13 and see how they feel this year compared to in 17 or in 18 or in 19. They feel completely different. And I don't think they went back there and redid the animations. Something just changed in the gameplay, the way the game moves. And the jump shot feels nothing the same no more. Doesn't hit the same, it's slow now, it's clunky, it just don't feel smooth no more. Eventually though, NBA 2K20 uh, Twitter did drop the patch notes after like over a full day where they really didn't address much of anything. It was a few my team fixes and they fixed the case where my players were unable to catch alley-oops even though they were capable of that. Which is disappointing considering we know what needs to be fixed in the game and none of those are here in the notes. But things did start to get juicy soon thereafter because for the next story of the day, for the first time since like December, we finally heard something from an NBA 2K dev. Mike Wang responded to the NBA 2K players tournament Twitter with his own bracket. And someone responded to Mike Wang saying, where have you been? Mike Wang responded with a, a SpongeBob meme doing like 60 different chores at once, 2K21. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The silence has broken. And I feel like the only reason it broke was because I'm pretty sure 2K came to Mike Wang and was like, hey, make a tweet about the players tournament. <laughs> And so he had to make the tweet. And so he's like, hey, since I'm here, might as well reply to this guy who's wondering if I'm still alive. Where have you been at, Mike? Jesus, man, we care about you. But then things got even juicier because Zach Timmerman, a gameplay developer, I believe, right? Uh, doesn't specify in his bio. Let's just say gameplay developer for NBA 2K, put out a tweet saying this. Paul Redo, thoughts on shooting badges in NBA 2K20. Too OP, tone them down, just right, not effective enough. And probably the best response I seen was from Young Precise, who said, remove pointless badges, plus make them easier to get, make the rating matter more. 
all things I agree on. So it seems as though they're getting things ready or they're ready to try and make some adjustments for next game. But here's, here's a plea that I'm gonna make real quick, ladies and gentlemen. It don't ruin the fun of the game in the name of balance. If there is an animation that's really OP, then yeah, nerf it. But if there's an animation that's just effective, then try and find a way to create more effective animations instead of stifling the few ones there are because then the game just feels slow and there's no way to really excel. That's all I'm gonna say on that because I feel like over the years in the name of balance, we've kind of just taken out like the speed of the game. I remember hopping in the park on 2K15 and being petrified because people was just zooming this way and that way. So it made me want to get good at playing that mode. Now if you hop into the park, everyone's running mad scared trying to find the next rookie to play. And even when they do, they're just doing the same zigzag, the same cross here, cross there, drive, and they're not boosting it. There's no skill involved in it. So that's just a plea that I make. Obviously, I've released my own kind of wish list video. I'm gonna leave the link in the card above and in the description if you guys are interested in watching that. Oh, Mike Wang decided to put out another poll on Twitter. He said, for those who shoot jump shots with the pro stick, do you hold the R stick up or down? Now, anybody who holds the right stick up is a psychopath. Get them out of here, guys. We need to send them to a ward somewhere. Everybody presses it down, and that goes without saying. So let's just click down. Oh, only use shot button was an option. I even booked that. Yeah, I use a shot button as well. But in 17, do you guys remember in 2K17 when they gave you a huge boost for using the right stick and hitting it accurately? Boot, everybody was using that until they patched it. I'm actually really surprised that 30% of people use the right stick. Very, very thoroughly surprised. I don't think that's a real number. I think the real number is like 10%. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel. We do this like every couple weeks with some juicy drama drops in the NBA 2K community. There's this video on the screen of Agent Beamstar on my other channel breaking down my different vehicles so you guys get a closer look at that. And I'm gonna leave you guys now. Bye.